Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another soccer game review. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Orlando Pride versus the Portland Thorns. So I'm kind of filming this video after I did the video on OL Rain taking on Kansas City, which was a very interesting game to watch. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to listen to me or, or see the video of me covering that game as well. But now let's get into this Pride vs. Thorns game. So yeah, I finally decided to cave and get the Paramount Plus. Like, it's a little late, but when I check the NWSL schedule, it seems as though the only way I'll be able to watch Orlando Pride or OL Reign is on Paramount Plus. So I decided to go ahead and get that. Better late than never, right? <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Here is the lineup. All right, so standard standard lineup, 4-3-3. Alex Morgan, I've seen the news reports or I've seen articles. So Alex Morgan is absent in this game and is probably going to be absent in the upcoming games due to the injury that she got during the U.S.-Australia bronze medal game in the Olympics. But on the upside, with Orlando Pride's new head coach, Becky Burlo, Burle, Pride has been doing pretty well so far. They tied against the North Carolina Courage and beat Chicago Red Stars 2-0. So I'm looking forward to see how Pride does in this game against Portland. I feel as though Portland is going to be a bit of a challenge for Orlando. Hopefully Pride can get those three points on the board. As of now, as of now, Portland is still number one in the standings with 28 points. And Pride is number four with 20 points. Three points will shoot Orlando Pride to the number two spot. All right. First half, we're off. Early on, one minute, Allie Riley crosses, but caught by Portland's Bella Bixby, who is a Really fabulous goalkeeper. Martha makes two run attempts and they're both deflected. Orlando is coming out strong so far with a very quick attack early on in this first half. Four to five minutes, uh, Thorns throw in. It goes in the box but is cleared away by Pride defenders. Five minutes in, Pride's Peterson makes a run but Thorns defenders are on her. She couldn't make the cross and couldn't find the support from her teammate. Martha is in possession, but the ball is knocked away. So Portland Thorns looking dangerous right now in the pride box, but pride defenders are doing well holding off the Thorns. Megan Klingenberg attempt at a run defended away by Krieger. 12 minutes, Sophia Smith makes a run, but pride defenders get on her rather quickly. 12 minutes in, Jody Taylor, header goal, header with an assist by Peterson. Taylor is able to get her goal. Pride 1 nil. So Pride is off to a great start. Hopefully they can keep that up. 14 minutes in, Portland fouls, free kick for Pride. 14 to 15 minutes in, Martha gets called for a foul. Uh, 15 minutes, another Jody Taylor attempt, but easy catch for Bixby. So Pride. I kind of noted that Pride is very aggressive in their attack so far in this first half, and I'm loving it. <laughs> 16 minutes, it 16 minutes, Klinning, Klingenberg, uh, Klingenberg uh, assist to Sophia Smith, but Smith gets tripped up. She wanted the foul because she was in the box, but the ref didn't give it, give it to her because she was just tripped up. <laughs> 20 minutes in, Portland Thorns send ball back into the Pride box, but caught by Harris. A uh, Pride player gets taken down, free kick for Pride. So Pride is doing really well at putting pressure on the Thorns and getting possession back, which is good. Peterson makes a run, but she loses it and kicks it upfield, grabbed by Bixby. Pearson, I, Peterson, I want, I kept wanting to note it, but I kept forgetting to write it. She is looking very well. She's looking very good in this game. 
23 minutes in, Thorns kicked the ball back to the pride box, caught by Harris. Klingenberg crossed to Simone Charlie, but Charlie couldn't get to it. She was very close, though. 25 minutes, LaRue tries to pick up the assist to the Thorns box, but is kicked away. Simone Charlie, run attempt, Jorns Dortier gets on it, but Charlie shoots and is caught by Harris. 28 minutes, Thorns, um, Kuka, sorry, I'm really bad with names. Thorns attempt from distance, but goes over the crossbar. 29 minutes, Pride fouls, Thorns free kick. Marissa Everett attempt hit hits the crossbar. I mean, that was crazy, actually. Like, I was very surprised at how it, like, how did that not go in? Like, she does make another attempt, but deflected by Jan Stordier. But still, it it hit the crossbar. It it honestly looked like it was about to go in, but no. Yeah, I don't know. That was just an that was crazy. <laughs> And a crazy attempt. It looked really close, <laughs> too. Um, 31 minutes, there's a pride attempt. Allie, Rye, Allie Riley couldn't find her teammates. A Klingenberg, a Klingenberg attempt. Easy catch by Harris. There's Charlie Thorne's attempt. Blocked and smacked away by Harris and then kicked, um, kicked out of bounds or kicked away. 36 minutes, uh, Thorne's corner. Nothing comes from it. Uh, Allie Riley then gets the yellow card for a foul on Klingenberg. So a free kick to the Thorns. Harris, Ashlyn Harris is able to knock it away. Peterson attempt from distance. Goes over the crossbar but really close. Allie Riley with the ball but no one to pick her up. Simone Charlie comes down to the Pride box. But great defending by Pride. Uh, 40th minute, Jody Taylor called for a foul. Free kick to the Thorns. Pride needs to keep up possession. Like, they don't need to rush anything. They just need to be more patient on the ball and also keep up the pressure. 43 minutes, Jody Taylor patient, waiting for, for LaRue. But Thorns, Kukia, Thorns player was staying on LaRue. I, I hate that I'm so bad with people's names. Able to... Yeah, she was able to get it away from LaRue. And then, 45th minute, the whistle is blown. First half ends. Pride 1-0. Overall, great first half for Orlando. Really excellent, excellent and great defending. Like, awesome. As always, awesome and great saves by Ashlyn Harris. I will never know why she wasn't picked for the national team. Like, Ashlyn had some really big saves this season with Pride, not just in this game, but in her previous games, she had some really great saves. So I love that Orlando was keeping up the pressure on the Thorns, something that they, something that they're needing to do, especially when it comes to the Portland Thorns. Orlando, yeah, they really need to start sending the ball upfield. Like the Thorns are getting a lot of attempts and opportunities, especially with Simone Charlie. Sophia Smith and Klingingberg. I would like to see more possession and patience from Orlando going into the second half. But all, overall, great first half for Orlando Pride. All right, so now we're going into the second half, and hopefully my my throat doesn't get dry because <laughs> I don't have anything to drink on me. <laughs> All right, so second half, we're off. Orlando coming out strong early on. Martha attempt. She couldn't get it past the Thorns defenders. Great possession so far by Orlando. 48 minutes. Thor Thorns attempt kicked away. There's a corner kick afterwards. And then an attempt by Sophia Smith is then caught by Ashlyn Harris. So Portland right now is kind of increasing the pressure on Pride. They're wanting to tie it up, or maybe they want to tie it up and, you know, get more points. <laughs> or get, like, a point and then get another one. <laughs> 50 minutes in, Thorns attempt to cross. Um, blocked by Jons Dortier with her body. She takes, like, the... What I mean by that is that... I can't remember what Thorns player it was, but Jons Dortier just 
block the ball with her body. <laughs> she, they, oh yeah, she blocked the cross with her body, basically, <laughs> to put it simply. All right, 51 minutes in, corner kick for the Thorns, nothing comes from it. Thorns still in possession, Orlando is fighting for possession or fighting to reclaim possession or get it back. 52 minutes in, Peterson pushed and loses the ball. She wants the foul, but the ref said it wasn't a foul. It was won cleanly. And I, I said it in the first half, but Peterson is doing really well, especially in the second half, like going forward. 55 minutes in, Thorns, Everett, attempt caught and grabbed by Harris, like another really great save by Harris. 55 minutes in, Sophia Smith down. Uh, Martha gets a yellow card, and that's kind of questionable. Like, I mean, Orlando Pride in this game got a lot of yellow cards, but I think this was the yellow card where I was like, yes, it's a foul. It was clearly a foul, but I didn't think it was yellow card worthy. <laughs> yeah, that was probably, like, the other ones, yeah, the other, the other yellow cards on Orlando is like, yeah, they probably deserved it, I guess. But the one on Martha, I was kind of, I was kind of iffy with that one. I was like, no. <laughs> Definitely a foul, but not really yellow card worthy. <laughs> 58 minutes in, free kick for the Thorns. Thorns are, Thorns is in the box. Uh, Sophia Smith shoots, but an easy catch by Harris. Yeah, Orlando needs to push and keep pressing forward. They've mainly been playing defensively defensively and as much as I love Ashlyn Harris making great saves Orlando needs more goals or or what they're doing is what they're doing is just maintaining that one their lead because they're up by one they're just maintaining the lead I like I'm fine with that I'm fine with teams maintaining a lead but usually I kind of want him to be up by two like up by two at least before they maintain and then they maintain the lead or then they start playing more defensively all right so 60 minutes in pride substitution uh dorothy howard comes in for vigiano 61 minutes thorn sophia smith cross attempt goes wide foul on simone charlie afterwards by mclaren free kick and a great catch by ashlyn harris yeah, it was another great catch or a great save. And me still wondering why Ashlyn Harris was not selected, why Ashlyn wasn't selected for the national team. Okay. Peterson crosses to Jody Taylor, but she couldn't get to it. Thorns sends it into the pride box, caught by Harris once again. Yellow card, McLaren for a foul on Simone Charlie. Free kick for the Thorns, nothing comes from it. Foul called on Thorn on the Thorns because Everett ran at Harris or ran at Harris in the net. Uh, 69 minutes, Dorothy Howard or, or LaRue crosses. One of them crosses, I wasn't really sure which one. It did look like LaRue. She crosses or one of them crosses header attempt by Taylor. Jody Taylor, but is knocked away by Bixby. 70 minutes, corner kick, Orlando sent into the box, caught by Bixby. 73rd minute, Jons Dortier down. Jons Dortier down, but she seems fine. Uh, 75 minutes, Thorns corner, headed out by Pride. Thorns makes an attempt to play or run, but is kicked away. Pride still doing really well defensively at holding off the Thorns. But honestly, I would like, I would have liked, or I would like them to press and attack more. All right, so 76 minutes in, foul on Charlie by Pride. Not sure, it could have been McLaren, but it was one of the Pride players. I'm not sure which one, but it does lead to a free kick. Uh, 77 minutes, Simone Charlie header and she's able to tie it up. Thorns 1-1. One, one. Yeah, at this point, Pride needs to start pressing and pushing forward. Like, actually stop, start attacking instead of playing defensively. Um, Pride, yeah, Pride's starting to attack now. 
81 minutes in, Simone Charlie run, runs and passes to Sophia Smith. Sophia Smith does shoot and she scores, but it's ruled offsides. Pride substitution, Jody Taylor comes off for Erica Timrak. Comes off and Emer Erica Timrak comes in. Simone Charlie with another cross defended away by Orlando. Thorns, Kukia. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> she shoots and it goes over the net. And yeah, Orlando stop losing the ball and stop losing possession. Yellow card for Marissa Everett after a challenge on Timurak. 86 minutes, free kick for Pride, nothing comes of it. Uh, Timurak crosses but caught by Bixby. 87 minutes, Presley in for McLaren. Korniak coming in for Allie Riley. Then a yellow card for Jan Stortier. And I even noted, like, lots of yellow cards in this game, huh? 89 minutes, Storn attempt defended away by Krieger. So we're at the 90th minute. There's going to be five minutes at added time. Okay, 90th minute, pride free kick after foul by Thorns. I think it was Korniak who got fouled. Martha crosses to Sydney LaRue, but she heads it way too high and it goes over the net. Uh, more fouls, <laughs> even more fouls going into these five minutes. Like, I appreciate and like aggressive play, but fouls can still equal opportunities for the other team. 92 minutes. Krieger gets a yellow card after fouling Simone Charlie. Yep, lots of yellows. <laughs> 93 minutes in, Martha gets the ball to the Thorns penalty box. Challenged. She got challenged. No penalty given after she goes down in the box. 95th minute, Cindy LaRue and Timurak combination knocked away for a corner. Corner kick for a pride. Nothing comes from it. Excuse me. And then final whis whistle. Excuse me. Game ends 1-1. One, one. Okay. So, <laughs> overall, an interesting game. Can't really say it was a fun one to watch. Like, earlier I was watching the OL Reign vs. Kansas City game. And even though OL Reign lost, I kind of liked that one more. There were things I would have wanted Orlando to do more of in the second half. When Orlando was up by one, they were playing more defensively, just trying to maintain that lead. But they weren't... But they weren't really pushing or attacking. They were just maintaining that lead. They were kind of just sitting back and allowing Portland to come at them. Orlando defense is strong, and as much as I like watching Ashlyn Harris make great and awesome saves, I would have liked to see Orlando attack more in the second half and try to get a second goal early on in the second half. The Thorns are just going to attack and press until they get a goal. I mean, that's how they are. <laughs> um, I do, I do, however, like Orlando's aggressive play, but honestly, they really need to dial it back just a tiny bit and be careful with those fouls and yellow cards. Fouls can equal opportunities for the opposing team, and that's what happened. Thorns tied it up because Simone Charlie got fouled near the box. I I will, like I said, I will say that the yellow card on Martha is questionable, and even Klingenberg thought that too. But yeah, interesting game. I'm kind of neutral to it. Um, I didn't like it, but I also didn't... I liked it, but I also didn't like it, so I'm kind of like in the middle <laughs> when it comes to this game. So I would like to see Orlando press and attack more moving forward into their next games. I thought Orlando did great defensively. Ashlyn Harris is always great in the goal. Pride did really well at putting pressure on the Thorns though, and I want to see them keep putting pressure on teams and maintaining po possession and just being in control, but at the same time be, be more careful with those fouls and yellow cards. Orlando, yeah, may not have won this one. It may not be the result they wanted, but 
the tie is still good for Orlando and it does show that they're that they're improving and getting better. So Burley, Burley still has some work to do with this team and I do think Orlando Pride will just get better going forward. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today, or technically tonight. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Later.